What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, the Black Senpai. This time, I'm the Dragon. What's up? What's up? What's up? And today, we're gonna be reacting to the new trailer for the Ghostbusters, um, 2016 that come that just came out. Uh, honestly, we kind of had. Well, I had some mixed feelings. You had completely negative feelings. Always. You completely hated negative. this stuff. But I then again, the trailer, so but then again, he grew up more with Ghostbusters than I did. Um, I've only seen honestly. Um, like parts of the first one and I haven't seen any other ones I'm not sure if that's a blessing or a curse but you know um yeah well you have plenty of time to see them they're pretty dope you'll probably enjoy them now that you're older than you would have as a kid anyway because like when I watch them now it's like oh shit I missed a lot of shit when I was a kid. Yeah, you do, probably, you do know that. Like, 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 I was just too busy just being scared, I guess. But, like, watching Ghostbusters now, you enjoy the movie so much more. Yeah, you and do, the jokes you are You notice hilarious. all the little um, nuances and details a lot more when you're older that you didn't really pay attention to when you were younger. Uh, right. Maybe because when you were younger, you were just caught up in the moment of the actual movie and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. And hopefully this video, this trailer gives us a better impression than the last one did. All right, let's go. It will haunt you every night. It looks good, Whatever visually. It is. No visually, I'm giving it nine out of ten. Kind of evil. It looks all right. Except you girls, I think you can handle it. I love, um, <laughs> oh, I, said, I think oh, that's, um, what's that, Michael McDonald? Yeah. The dude that did, um, Stewart on, uh, Mad TV. No one else <laughs> yeah. is willing but, um, to see. Yeah, I enjoyed him. The, um, others can't do. Ghostbusters. If there's Honestly, a paranormal problem, we're the ones. To oh yeah, the visuals. The, the visuals remind me of something you'll see on a Disney movie. Honestly, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad what thing. What do we think of these Ghostbusters? Really mm -hmm. They don't really they scare me as much as the original would have scared me. I, I've seen the visuals in the first one. Okay, if I was younger, I would have been scared. From this dump! Okay, so I don't know if it was a race thing or a lady thing, but I'm mad as hell. Somebody fucked up on her lawn. <laughs> I've seen Someone her stand up. She's okay. I mean, she's not great, but she's okay. Like, We're gonna need somebody <laughs> fucked up on her uh, lines, man. Right? Hey, guys, check it out. Like, it seems all her lines are either something about her being a woman or about her being black. Like, that's the only thing she really has contributed. Oh, man, that's so not good. It remind me of um, that movie, the teenage movie, <laughs> with the black uh, stereotype, I mean stereotypical token friend. The only thing he was there to do was like, damn, and that's whack. Government's trying to claim the event is That's pretty much what she is. We don't want a panic. We don't want mass hysteria. Get off the screen. I will kick the unliving crap out of you, and you, especially you. Yes. You got a, uh... No, I'm tired. No, no, listen. I'm just gonna go ahead and take off. How about that? <laughs> I, I don't really think that's a good idea. No, nope. going to take off. Don't piss off the ghost. Really? That was funny. <laughs> I don't know much about Ghostbusters, but I know about that was the Stay Puck <laughs> Marshmallow Man, and he's half melted. That means what? it fucked them up. What the fuck happened? I don't know. That means it must have fucked them up. We have to stop this thing when with horror movies where people think that we're supposed to be scared of monsters that have already had their asses whooped. Like, when you see a monster, like, half his face ripped off the side of his head, like, why am I supposed to be scared of you? Somebody already fucked you up. You better step the fuck back before it happens again. Like, but it's not us, though. We're not the ones who did it. It don't matter. The fact of the matter is, he's coming into this fight with a disadvantage. So do you really, see an do you really line, want to do this? You're not going to be scared. This motherfucker <laughs> and like can't move and <laughs> shit. You see an injured lion, I'm still gonna run. I don't give a fuck if it's limping or not. It depends. It depends <laughs> on what part of it is injured. I don't give a fuck what's injured. If it's able to move. I guess the real question would be, why the fuck would you be fighting a lion in the first place? Like, <laughs> what do you have to gain for killing this lion, even if... <laughs> It did, like, if it was injured. Like, this is just a random example. <laughs> you kill a lion, it's like, I just killed an injured lion. <laughs> this is just a random example. But anyways, okay, so the last part was funny. But yeah, as for that, 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 line, she, that line was okay, yeah. But as for, like, her other parts, it's just like, she it's has, just like she saw the script, she right? She has the token black people 
uh, lines. lines. Like, she, like, like it's like she saw the script and she was just like, oh, okay, so I gotta say this like this because I'm black. She's designed. Like, <laughs> she's designed to say some black jargon, it's you know, funny. something that's supposed to be mm-hmm. common in the black community, and like, no, that's it. Move on. Like, oh man, that's not good. That was terrible. Like, like, she seem, it seems like in this movie there's going to be a part where she's going to be like, uh-uh, black people don't do this and like run off or some shit like that. Like that, it, what, what, <laughs> To me, it seems like that's what's going to happen. Exactly. There's going to be a part where she's going to be like, oh, hell nah, and just run off. Like, <laughs> Yeah, there's going to be some part of that. Yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact, we need to go ahead and come up with a chart about <laughs> all the things that we think she's going to say <laughs> before she says it. Like, she, hell nah is going to be one of them. Yeah. Um, you've got to be crazy, or you I'm got from to the be, hood. I don't know what she's gonna say. I'm from she's gonna say, "Oh, uh, 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 I'm from the hood. I ain't maybe, scared of no ghosts." Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe I'm from the streets. I'm from the streets, or I'm from the hood. I ain't scared of no ghosts. She's gonna say something like that. I guarantee. She's gonna you. make some type of insult to white people. You white people are crazy, or you or some shit like that. She, she's gonna probably say some stuff like that. Yeah. But um, mm-hmm. yeah. Again, I'm disappointed because I've seen her in stand up, and she's better than this. Like, mm-hmm. what the fuck are you doing? Like for Why? real. Like they casted her because she obviously has some type of talent. Well, because she's on Saturday. She's Night on Live, Saturday Night so. Live. That that she's don't not, that, honestly yeah, that don't that speak a lot. That does not speak a lot. That doesn't mean shit. Being she's on Saturday Night Live does not Saturday Night Live. automatically yeah, mean well, just there's good. a lot of there's a lot of bad people on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> yeah. Like for real. Like, but um, but anyways though, this trailer made me want to see the movie now. But there's a but. I'm scared that I'm going to be watching this movie, right? And I'm going to enjoy it, but when she's on the screen, I'm not going to enjoy it. I'm scared that this movie is mm-hmm. going to, like, overwatch the original movie in younger people's minds. Like, a lot of young people probably haven't seen the original movie. I know, and that does and suck they're going to see this, and then when they think y'all gonna of think Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters they're, different. they're going to yeah. think of 2016 yeah. instead of the older one from the 80s. Right, and, like, here's the thing. This one is not, like... Just a makeover. Like, this is obviously some type of... And while we're at it... Fem- fe- feminine shit. While we're at it. I'm, I, like I said, I've never even seen all of the goddamn original Ghostbusters. But the fact that you want to have the fucking original Ghostbusters appear in this movie, not as their fucking characters, though, <laughs> but just cameos as someone else... Automatically speaks bullshit in my book. Imagine yeah. seeing a rebooted X Men and like Hugh Jackman shows up as a fucking scientist. Like, <laughs> where the fuck did that come? And then, and then like, no, oh, uh, let, let me go ahead and take care of my patients real quick. And then he leaves and goes to another room, and his patients are Ian McKellen and Patrick Stewart. Like, <laughs> are we in the damn Twilight Zone? Like, the and the mailman is Holly Berry. <laughs> and then, and then, so, and then the fucking per- the main character wakes up and he looks at him and be like, I had, I, I had a weird dream, and you were there, and you were there, and you were there. And like, <laughs> oh shit! But no, man. I um, I, I want this movie to be good though. Lay at down. the same time, they don't. No, 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 no. It's already bad. If it's say if, that. Like I said, if it turns out good, it's just gonna whitewash the original. It it it's. Bad. It's not gonna be that good. Now already, I know. The dang, this is gonna sound so bad. There are people. The characters in this movie are not better than the characters in the 80s so, already, period. There are people mm-hmm. that, when you say Green Hornet, do not think of Bruce Lee, but think of that shit that Seth Rogen and <laughs> that one Asian dude did. Like, Green Hornet? It don't take much to get to override some memory in somebody's mind. Like, you don't have to leave a great impression. Yeah. I don't know. I just think that this has more of, like, a straight, a super comedy feel. And the one in the 80s is not a comedy. Okay. But, um, but yeah, we're about to wrap this up. Yeah, though. let's go ahead and wrap this video up. Um, mm-hmm. If you enjoy this reaction, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, make sure you... Well, I say thumbs up. It ain't like... Yeah. Uh, make sure you subscribe. We're uploading every single week. And if you enjoy this video, be sure to share it. Also, leave your comments down below what you think is going to happen. What do you think is going to be the black phrases that are going to come out of this woman's mouth? Jesus. Yeah. Um, anyway, that's our reaction. We're going to give you guys the deuces. Peace. Deuces.